five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at the dancer, can't help himself, does a toe tap, even when counting. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to today's instalment of Teach Tea Australia Something. We're up to issue eight. Today we're at our cover shoot with artist extraordinaire Harold David. Also Madonna's backup dancer, but that's for another time. <laughs> and today Harold is going to teach me How to dance. something which most people are terrified of. You can see the roll of IKEA paper and this IKEA paper will be used to teach tea how to paint. For yes. me, if I see white paper on a computer screen, like a Word document or an A4 piece of paper, I fill it with words instantly. Give me a piece of paper like this or a canvas and I get anxiety, pressure, deep feeling of dread in my stomach and judgment and the list goes on. Yeah. Now today, if you could share with us the multi-angled way of how we could get rid of that niggling voice that the doubt in my mind that I can't paint, that'll be amazing. Well, it exists. Yeah. You feel like you can't paint, use it. Do it, work through it, lose it. Use your doubt mm. to get over your doubt. That's okay. what I do. Okay, well I've got plenty of that. <laughs> well, this should be amazing. <laughs> Some black paint somewhere. Yes, black. <gasps> <laughs> I'm going to put it right in my hand oh because God, I forgot okay. my, my bucket of black paint. Dip your brush in there. Oh, okay. I can do that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my, yeah, handy. Face the canvas. Yep. Don't even look. Oh. Just, oh. Just go. I call it striking the canvas. Yes. I often just go. Okay. This is your first layer. Wow. This may, this won't see the light of day. Maybe that little edge will, if I like it at the end, or you like it at the end. This is your painting, so you like it at the end. Come on, come on. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> I think with art, and we chatted about this before, it's the whole... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Going to plan. Uh -huh. The yes. whole conversation with people feeling that it's such a childlike thing to do. Oh, a child could do that. And then, I mean, obviously I have to explain this. I do have a four and a five year old. So at the moment, I, my only art is child related. Yes. So that's why I did that, because I also love them. Yes. But talk to me about how people are very judgmental or very insecure or whatever in terms of, oh, a child could do oh, that. Well, you know, I, when I, one of my first paintings back was in the, um, was in the window at Day Gallery up in Blackheath where I live, right? Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Mine's very it, feminine it's, and it is, It's got a really nice line. I mean, just lose all connection to what understand. is. Yes, more paint. Yep. And um, so one of my first paintings back, Day Gallery, window, nighttime. I'm like, oh, how fascinating. Yep. I'm there. This drunk couple walks by. He says to her, a child could do that. I didn't tell him it was my work. I said, but could an adult. What do you mean by that? It takes a lot to let go of all of your, everything you've learned since you were perfect as a kid. It's, it takes a lot. So every day, every time I paint, I have to get rid of it. Hey. Are you straight lines? Straight lines and some, and sometimes. I'm improving yours too, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a small brush. Okay. Just put it off on you. Get okay. that yellow off on there. Oh, this reminds me of home. <laughs> With my four-year-old. Cool. All right, so look, I like that little space there. Oh, nice. That. At oh, I did one good bit. Yeah, and look, I really, I, I would definitely keep that and work with that. Uh, oh. No. Beautiful. No, okay. yeah. <laughs> yep. When do you know it's finished? Yes. I mean, I contemplate it. How do you know your outfit's finished without adding a belt or a yep. hat or whatever? Yep. You just kind of know. Thank yeah. you so much for this. This has been fabulous. Thank Appreciate you. it. Bye.